to talk about why it's not raining as much, why it's getting hotter, why there's climate change, why people are struggling and we're seeing extreme weather all over the country and all over the world. And one of the reasons is the way the earth is heating and why. Um, what I wanted to cover is convection. And when we have an object like a pan and we're heating a liquid inside of it, we're adding a heat source uh, on the bottom, it creates these warmer molecules here on the bottom and it becomes less dense and they rise. And in order to fill that gap, the cooler air or liquid then takes its place and fills that space. And so what we get is the warm air constantly rising and the cool air cooling, and we get circular currents like so. And how does that apply to landscaping? Well, if we have trees and then we come in and we cut one down and we clear it to build a house or a building or apartment or a parking lot. What that's doing is then the sun comes in and it's baking that surface. So just like with our pot, then that hot air rises. And then the cool air from the sky or the trees then cools it. And so what this is doing is it's constantly heating. So just like a pot, we're heating the air, heating the air, heating the air. And when we have clouds, what that's doing is then pushing the clouds away. So then the clouds are no longer shading and we're no longer getting rain. You can see that. And so when we do this over a larger and larger span, then we're just getting more and more heat rising and circulating and we're heating up the world or our neighborhood uh, quicker and quicker. So when we do then plant a tree on our property, what that's doing is then creating shade. One, so the sun can't even penetrate. And through that shade, we're getting uh, cooler temperatures. This tree is also taking water from the subsurface and pumping it into the air. Trees are water pumps, and so what it's doing is then creating clouds to allow for more rain and cooling this even more. Um, this, the green temperature of the tree is going to block a lot of the infrared waves. And so then what we get is more of a cooling effect. And so we're bringing the rain in. The clouds switch directions and they start coming back in to bring us more rain. So not only are we pumping water up into the air, but we're creating currents to then draw um, the cooler air and the clouds and the rain in towards us. And this can be seen on larger scales. The rocks hold in that heat. So even when it's cool at nighttime and the sun goes away, that rock is continuously letting off that heat. So just to, to beat some weeds for a year or so, we're zero scaping and adding rocks and it's holding in a lot of heat and we're making it like a desert. We're making it like Arizona. And again, all we need to do is plant those trees to shade it. And it's going to create cooler temperatures. It's going to bring in the, the air and the breezes and the rain so our plants can grow, our trees can grow. And so we really need to plant more shade. And what we do with Terra Gardens is we've created really easy guilds. 
And a guild for us is really just like, essentially a circle of plants. It's just a circle of plants based around a center tree. And we have like 16 plants that we then plant around it that are companion planted to hold in moisture, uh, attract beneficial insects, and fertilize the trees. There's actually plants that add nitrogen into the soil. Um, and so for two, three thousand dollars, you can get these 16 plants and one fruit tree. Um, we have like guacamole, we have smoothies, um, we have trail mix, um, even toiletries. So you can grow like a grocery store uh, niche right in your yard. Uh, we have 10 of them. Um, you can plant all 10 or any of your choices. Whatever you eat will knock off some of your, your groceries. Um, but this is also going to create a spot in your yard that creates shade. It's going to cool it down. Um, it's going to be a self-contained ecosystem. So everything is going to work together. So you don't have to weed it. You don't have to water it. You don't have to feed it. There's something in this guild that's going to be doing it for you. And so this is just a little bit about why we do the edible landscaping and how it works. Uh, have any uh, other questions or you're interested in getting started with a guild or a design or a landscape um, to grow your own groceries and prevent climate change and hopefully protect future generations from more extreme weathers, um, check out terragardens.com. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram. Much love.